Hello and welcome to Free Online Tutorials. My name is Tony Clark and uh, today we're going to go through how to set up your audio device in Cubase. The device that we use is the Yeti Roll UA101. This is the front view and this is the back view and you can see we have um, all the inputs. We have the uh, monitor output and this would go to uh, your amplified speakers or an amplifier and then onto your speakers so you can hear what's going on um, and on the front side you've got headphone socket various other controls which we won't go into too deeply at this stage and on the front we've got these uh, sort of um, multiple uh, input sockets this will take a quarter inch jack and as you can see there are points here and here which enable the XLR socket per jack to go in once you've uh, connected up your uh, hard drive you need to consider your driver. The driver comes with the uh, hardware and um, it's normally on a disk and you can install that that's fine but I would suggest that you go onto the manufacturer's website and download the most up-to-date driver. Download that driver and install it and once you're ready once you've done that we're then ready to connect it to um, to Cubase. Very straightforward. So if we just go into the devices drop down and then go all the way to the bottom to the devices setup and you get the device setup window. You can see in this window that we have Eddie Roll UA101 driver already installed and already selected. Um, if you click on the arrow you get another drop down window and you will see um, various drivers um, and search for the one that relates to your hardware. In our case, it's the Eddie Roll UA101. Click on that, and if you were switching from another one, you would click this another driver. You would s click the, the switch button. Otherwise, in this case, click Keep, and we keep the uh, the UA101. As you um, click in this pane on different dev different uh, areas, that's reflected in this window and uh, you can see this clicking on the Eddie roll you can see all of the ins and outs that we have now this may be well it will be probably more than what you've got and if it is it doesn't really matter because all you need is a couple of ins and a couple of outs so we've selected the driver and uh, if you just click OK there we are now we need to go back into devices again and this time we need to select our VST connections and you can do that by clicking here or using the keyboard and it will be F4. Right, so you now got the VST connection window open. If we go to the inputs, that's the input tab along the top, um, you will get this by default, stereo in, left and right. And these are already connected to the input 1 and input 2 on the Eddie roll. Now, if we bring the Eddie roll back up, what that means physically is that input 1 and input 2. So this refers to the hardware and this refers to the to, to Cubase. If we just get that out of the way. So you would then to connect to it you would then go into the drop down or click in there and then select one which is actually marked up as left and then right number two right in Cubase. And that's it. We are now connected. Um, all the channels uh, are connected to the inputs. And uh, there's the next one to do is the, the outputs. And as you can see, it says not connected. You'll get faced again with the stereo out, left and right. And if we click on the connect, there's my monitor. So we want to send it to the monitor left, left and one. And then select number two. And we're going to send the signal to number two. So that's the input selected and the output selected. Now, there's something I'd like to show you. If you go over to the Studio tab, I'll just disable that. When you first go there, if you've not enabled it, it will look like this. So what you need to do is to enable it. If you click the cross, you'll see your left and right channels, and they are shown as not connected. So if we click on there, and then we select Stereo Left to the left, stereo out to the right. 
Now, if we just bring our picture back up, you'll see that this refers to these outputs here. So this is the physical and this is the virtual, if you like. So we've connected our studio and we've connected our outputs. Oh, outputs. You'll see that it's now not connected. Well, that's not unusual. In fact, it's what it should be because we've now routed um, the studio's been routed to the outputs of one and two on Eddie Roll. Um, we do need to have this set up within Cubase, but it's not going to actually have any effect on the volume of the overall um, recording. Now, what that means is when we're in the studio mode, we can, we'll bring up uh, later, we'll bring up uh, the control mixer, control room mixer, and that will enable us to increase or decrease the volume that you can hear through your monitor speakers without affecting the overall volume of your recording. So it's important to, to, to set these up as I've just shown you. Um, but, uh, really, that, that's it. We've now connected and set up our hardware to Cubase.